All right, guys. So welcome to another video, and in this one, I'm gonna be teaching you guys just I don't know, even there's not like one main topic, just a bunch of other random stuff to make improvements to your game. And the first, let me adjust my mic, It'll be a little bit better. I was like in my nose before. All right. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to make these explosions look a bit, little bit better, and by that I mean getting rid of the black right here. So what we can do is we can actually open up a photo editor like Photoshop and removing this black background. But typically, it's a better idea to just do it right here because, well, uh, there's a couple different reasons. First of all, whenever we have effects, we're going to want different effects or different images to behave differently. So I want to show you guys how you can do that with the properties panel. So select this explosion right here. And under effects, you can see that right now the blend mode is normal. And again, if you ever use Photoshop, you know the different kinds of blend modes. Basically, how this image right here, which is the explosion, blends in with the background. So instead of normal, what I can do is I can select additive. And without explaining to you guys how the pixels from that image are added with the ones below, basically just remember this. Whenever you select additive, it's going to get rid of all the black. So that's a really simple explanation. If you want, you know, I, I don't want to make this into a, um, a graphic editing tutorial, but whenever you select the blending mode of edited, it gets rid of the black. So now if we go ahead and anytime we use this explosion, spray, check it out. Now we don't have that crappy black. Our game is looking better already. Now another thing that I want to do is I want to make the monsters a little bit smarter. And right now, whenever we play this, as you guys can see, they all go at one angle from left to right. So they are all are going at a line perfectly parallel with the x-axis, which, you know, is kind of makes it really easy for us because they're all just walking over the edge. But uh, not very fun, if you ask me. So what I want to do is I want to start them all off at a random angle. So how do we do that? Well, let's go ahead and hop back over to the event sheet. And in order to do that, we need to set a condition, a new condition, actually. It's going to be a system condition. And what we want to look for is, let's see if I can find it here, on start of layout. Now, what this basically means is whenever your layout starts, or in really simple terms, whenever your game begins. So whenever your game begins, that's the event it's checking for. What do you want to happen? Of course, we need to add in action and remember what we're doing here we're gonna set the monsters at random angles so the monster object and you guys are gonna la 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 move it angle not that one I probably already missed it set angle wow it was like the third one embarrassing so as soon as the game begins we wanna set each of these monsters at a random angle and if you put random 360 it just does that and this is actually a function and um, if you guys don't know computer programming it's just to get a random number between um, either 0 or 360 or 1 and 360 I think it's 0 and 360 so press done and now what we did is as soon as the game begins aka on start of layout each monster is going to be started off at a random direction. So now, okay, oh, oh, oh. now they're going crazy. Makes a little makes the game a little more interesting. But one thing I want to know is, you see that monster right there? He just walked off the edge of the screen. Never took him back. Goodbye, monster. That's it. All my monsters are gone. They're walking off into the darkness of the universe, into the abyss. So another thing that we can do is say, okay, whenever the monster goes off the screen, we want to keep them inside the layout pretty much like our character is, so they just can't walk off the edge. So in order to do that, we need to test for one more condition. So add an event, and we want to go ahead and check if something's happening with the monster. And the event is called is outside layout. hate that these aren't just all in alphabetical order is okay 
Where the heck is it? Is outside layout? That's embarrassing. All right. So what this does is it pretty much says, is your monster outside the layout? Basically, is it in this gray area right here? And if <clears throat> I swear I'm getting ticked off about my stupid throat, but basically, if it is. I'll show you guys what I just did. Didn't talk you guys through it. We want to add an action. And the action is give it a new angle or a new um, direction to go towards. So we want the monster and this one. Got to find this again. Set angle toward position. That was easy. And for X, in, I'll show you guys. Well, let me type this and then I'll explain to you guys what I'm doing. Player X. Player y and just hit enter so basically remember since these monsters act like bullets that's what behavior we give them they're pretty much going to go in a straight line so you give it a point and then the monster travels in that straight line until it gets to the edge of the layout and then they go to a new point so what point do we want to give them well we just don't want to give them a random point on the screen we want to make them go towards the player so they, you know, are like kind of attacking him. So this is our player object. And if you guys, like I said, are familiar with computer programming, you're going to know what this is. But this is our player object. And each object has certain properties with it. The X is just its X coordinates on the game. And its Y is just its Y coordinates. So pretty much this is saying, if we press done, is the monster in the gray area? Right here. If they are then take that monster and make it go towards the player. So now whenever I hit play, hopefully you guys can see what happens. And let me refresh that because none are coming right here. So keep an eye on this monster. As soon as he goes off, he's going to start coming in the direction of me. And look at this one on top. He went off the screen, so he starts coming towards me. And of course I can move because after he has that original point, He's going to go in that direction forever. So again, it's not like the most intelligent monster, but you know, it's a lot better than just being an idiot and wandering off into wherever universe he's going to. So uh, that's all I have for you guys for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, it's going to be, as always, freaking awesome. So again, if you have any questions at all up to this point, make sure to ask me on my forum, buckysroom.org forum. I'll see you there.